Hey beautiful people, it's Rakeen. I'm back with another video. So in this video, I want to review the last kickoff video that I made for you all. There's so many people out there that's looking to boost their credit score and I'm hoping that this kickoff account will be great for you all. I know when I applied for it in the very, very beginning when I first seen that the account came out, um, came out, my credit score went up 37 points and I've just been telling you guys about this account ever since. Let me start recording my screen so that you guys can see the different people that I am answering because because I'm answering the questions from the last video that I received. So somebody said that they had this for one month um, and it has not moved, their credit score has not moved any points um, at all. So usually when I see something like this, I just think that maybe you had, um, maybe your credit score was over uh, 620, 640. Um, usually when I see people have a credit score that's higher than like a 580, um, I see that they may not get as much points as somebody else that had like a very low um, credit score. Or sometimes you don't have anything like your utilization is already low. You really didn't need an extra account. You know, I tell people to try to have four credit cards and keep your utilization low. And if you guys don't have like high utilization at the time you apply for this or if you guys... Um, I already have four credit cards. I just don't see that your credit score probably is going to go up as much as you want it to go up. But hopefully you will still see that your credit score go up more in the future. Somebody said I signed up a week ago for the $5 line. They said they haven't leased a car yet. They bought, haven't bought a house. They're planning on boosting their credit score um, so that they can get a better rate on a credit card in the future. Um, that is true. And with you you guys boosting your credit score yeah you're gonna get a better rate but please make sure you guys are not keeping balance on these credit cards these rates are just ridiculous um especially when you think about investing like you want to invest um your money you couldn't get the same rate that they're getting on these credit cards for your portfolio so you do not want um to be keeping a balance on these credit cards or these type of um accounts even in the future when you get other credit cards unless it's like a zero percent intro apr credit card then i'll say go ahead somebody said i paid the 60 dollars off already is that good the point of having this account um is so that they can report to the credit bureaus every month the continuous reporting is what's boosting your credit score also some people may see a great increase in a credit score when they first sign up for it but a lot of people are going to see a gradual increase you may get five points here seven points there and next month you may get ten next month you may get two you supposed to see like a gradual increase so if you were to pay it off early kind of you i'm guessing you're talking about um the installment account the installment account you're going to pay 120 dollars so you halfway paying uh, paying it already they're probably only going to report for another six months now which is going to lower the time that they're reporting um to the credit bureau when i first got the account i i tried to do the same thing by paying it off early and earlier and also i seen like the self account i pay my self account off early but they just stopped reporting to the credit bureaus and when they stopped reporting my credit score did take a little drop because now it's a closed account and credit report it eventually went back up but i just didn't like that little drop y'all i didn't like it but that's going to happen with all of your accounts especially if they're installment accounts once you haven't paid off even like with your mortgage or your car it's, it's going to be the uh, same exact thing. Somebody said, unfortunately, um, kickoff is not available in, in Indiana. Yeah, I heard. I know, I know. Let's see if somebody else said somewhere else. Somebody said, join the waiting list. I joined and waited, and they sent me a notification when they were available in Louisiana. Oh, that's nice. Thanks for letting us know. I love emojis. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So let's put us a nice emoji on there. Um, do these accounts. Oh, wait, we got another one. So the kick off, charge a lot. You pay $2 per month. They report $500. I think this is on the website. I got five. I'm going to call her email. I'm trying to get history. Look at this. Happen. Yeah, so previously, like right now, I still have a $500 um, line, but I know that some people were able to get the $750 credit line. I think that everybody is getting that right now when you apply for it. Um, I am paying the $2 per month basically for the $500 one. Um, I'm not sure if you guys are still able to get it. I think that you guys have to pay $500 for the $750 line. Um, but somebody said they were looking to change it. So good luck with that. 
Hopefully they allow you to change it. Do these accounts, do these accounts um, count against the 524 rule? The 524 rule is with Chase. Chase would do not want you to have more than um, five new accounts in the last 24 months. And I'm guessing that yes, this is going to definitely count. Yes, yes. Yes, it's definitely is going to count, you guys. But I just don't see why you guys would want to get this credit card and still be trying to get the Chase credit card at the same like at the same time. I just I don't know. Um, Chase credit card is like a credit card that's later on down the line after your credit score um, go up a lot, and you probably shouldn't have any other um, too many other credit cards. So I tell you guys, try to get four credit cards. Let them report to the credit bureaus. Let your credit score go up, and then you. Um, get other accounts now some people go crazy I think I seen a comment on here yeah some people like this one right here I recently opened my account therefore I haven't received any updates yet I also signed up for self I'll keep you updated finally I also did the pre-approvals for the following mission lane they have no fees uh, torrid all rewards um, children's pace auto um, I'm guessing that's probably auto too um, Victoria's Secrets overstock appliance connection i know i went overboard yes i pray that my credit scores improve before it's all said and done thank you i think that your credit scores would improve but you better make sure you keep that balance along the credit cards that's it that's all i can say um when it come down to that but you see how the person got all those different credit cards um adrian it's gonna be kind of hard it's, it's gonna be hard to get that chase you're gonna wait till you get down to the uh, five credit cards in the last 24 months Somebody said, I look good. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. Uh, what happened when they said that they can't verify your identity? So I heard uh, people said that they weren't able to verify their identity before. And I tried to tell people, when you apply for the kickoff credit card, make sure you guys use that same information that you were using um, that's on your credit reports, basically. Make sure that same name, same address, because sometimes you can put a new address in and kickoff don't know about it and they don't want to approve you. And if you're still having that same problem, you might want to email them to try to see if you can do anything to make it work. Somebody said my Equifax went up 46 points. I guess my Experian haven't yet up, haven't updated yet, so I haven't got any points from Experian. 46 points on Equifax is still sweet. That is good. I'm happy for you. Congratulations, Johnny. That is good. Last credit score went up 655 points within only three months of being with Kickoff. I only had the account open for three months, and it said I went up 655 points. Is that normal? Yes, it's normal. I just got a... 658 score only has self and kickoff for two months that is good let me screenshot that so i can show everybody else that is really good these accounts are for people that's looking to build their credit period you don't want to do anything else with these accounts like that's really what this is about building your credit that's it Oh, but then you have some people like this too and i think that if you have a higher credit score starting off or you um you already have four accounts. This is not this is not the account for you. So I've had I had to kick off for months and my credit score hadn't moved. Yeah, that's a bummer to hear. It sure is. Make sure your other credit cards are below fifteen percent. That's true. Like I said, utilization. That is true. Um, let me see. My kickoff went up seventy nine points since I started the rebuilding process. Thanks for knowledge and always learning and listen that's good you should always do that I always see you around i just talked about you in a previous video too about the two more credit card i want to know if you was able to get it so definitely let us know if you see this video or the other video if you were able to get that two more credit card because i know you said that you were waiting and you weren't able to get it so definitely let us know if you were able to, um, to get it i have two kickoff accounts and they're done wonders for me that Started off reporting to all three credit bureaus, but for some reason they stopped reporting to TransUnion. But I have certainly enjoyed being a part of Kickoff. I'm also a part of Self, and it's been amazing. Raised my credit score over 77 points, and now all my credit scores are over 750. And that's off of a Kickoff account, you guys. That is really good. I'm happy for you. How many accounts do you recommend you have? Um, I recommend that people have four four credit cards reporting 
Um, so four credit cards. Now, if you think in installment accounts, try to have two installment accounts, but don't forget installment accounts can be student loans. It can be your car. It can be multiple things. I have kickoffs since January. It's been very good to me with my other credit cards and credit builders. So I started off kickoff and stuff. Oh, Ooh, they was able to get um, the Federal Credit Union open once they applied for the Capital One Walmart. So scores are low. Now they are good and pushing. That is good. I am happy for them. Good job. I really, I'm telling you guys, these accounts right here, this one and the self, both can do wonders. So definitely check out the blog for both of these credit cards. I'm going to have it in the comments and in the description. Definitely check it out. Somebody said, um, are they able to use, um, not use a social security number? I don't think. They'll have to call. That's for people um, that probably don't have a um, social security number. I don't know. You'll have to call. I don't even want to get into that one right there. You probably have to call um, to try to see. Or you probably can't call them. Shoot them an email and ask them if you're able to use it. Or try to use it and let them tell you no. Either or, right? <laughs> Just read and make sure, though. But I have the link for this credit card. Um, plus, well, for this these accounts, should I say, kick off. And I also have the link for the self in the description and in the comments. So definitely check it out. Hopefully this video was helpful to you guys. Let me know if you like these type of videos where I'm going through it with you. Like, do you like this? Do you not like it? Tell me <laughs> Let's, yes or no in the comments so I can make sure I make better videos for you all. But make sure you guys join exclusive membership. $1 trial in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next video.